went to the club, showed the bouncer, and <coughs> the ID just looked joke. There's no way that was real, but they still let me in. And um, my joke and popping started when basically I was in the club and I was jamming, minding my own business. And um, I was get, because I was dancing, I was getting a lot of attention. Mm. I don't want attention, I was in a corner. Somehow mm. attention finds you when you're a dancer. Nope. You know? As soon as you, someone knows you're a dancer, oh, 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 oh wow, like they just run to you. And basically what happened, there was these guys there, and they didn't like I was getting the intention, so they challenged me to a battle. But I had never, I had never, by this point I had never been in a battle, I hadn't known any styles, so basically they beat me down, basically. <laughs> but one of them did this really embarrassing thing where he took off his jacket and he started strobing with it. Oh no. He started strobing with his jacket like that, and he turned around and he threw it on my head. <laughs> and the whole crowd, <laughs> wow, the that's whole deep. Crowd went, <laughs> so powerful that I was like, you know what, I'm going to learn, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to learn it and I'm going to come back and find you. I said, I said, you find him? No. Actually, no, I did. I did find him, but by then he was really big and like, he put on a lot of weight and by then I had understood a lot more than what, I understood so much that I realised that what he was doing wasn't even the same as what I was doing, so it was mm. no challenging my all these years. <laughs> and then after that, you obviously start thinking, listen, this is my part, I also started thinking, oh, you know what? I'm gonna start battling everybody, and I'm gonna be the best. I'm gonna go challenge the whole UK, I'm gonna beat the UK, and then there were certain people in the UK at the time that were at the top, and I really wanted to beat them. And so this whole thing, I started battling, and battling, and competing, and competing, and that's, a lot of the videos you see is just me battling and competing. But then after a while, the whole battling thing, it does get boring, because it's one of the ones where, okay, you battle, you become the best in the world, and you beat everybody, then what? It's like, it's like a, what do you do then with it? There is, it's like an unreachable thing. I mean, eventually what's going to happen is there's someone that's going to be better than you and you're going to think. So my whole thing changed from wanting to be the best in the world to wanting to teach and inspire. So that's when my path kind of changed from the whole battle, battle, battle. And even with battling, if you think about it logically, there's no guarantee that you're like always going to win. You know what I'm saying? Like there's too many factors involved in a battle. I mean, like if you look at battle, what's a battle consist of? It consists of music consists of judges, it consists of a crowd, and it consists of a stage, okay? Judges, are you really gonna say that you can appeal to all the judges? There's three judges, how are you gonna appeal to all of them? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a coin click. The music, you might like the music, you might hate the music. Um, the crowd, sometimes the crowd can influence the judges. You know what I'm saying? There's so many politics involved, there's no way you can guarantee that you'll win. Hmm? Physicality, you might. Yeah, exactly. You might have a cold. You might, you might wake up thinking, ah, oh, I'm gonna smoke it today, smoke it today. Get on the train, start getting tired. We haven't eaten. It's a long day. Popping. This happens sometimes. Sometimes a competition can start at nine, and popping is not oh, yeah, ten. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the evening. Ten. Do what you do. <laughs> and trust me, it goes like it goes to spaces where you go like this, then you're like this, like this. And then you've gone, you've gone somewhere else. So there's all these factors. Okay, so mm. don't. Battling is cool, but it's not the hype of everything, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my, one of my biggest things with battling that I would say to a lot of people is you need to learn to be, um, be at peace with yourself. And what I mean by that is no one has the confidence in a battle to do this. And do nothing. <laughs> okay, most of the time, especially in the UK, especially in the UK, what happens a lot of time in the UK is is people start off and they, the beat comes on and they go, they go. Okay, that battling. Think of battling as performance. Okay, you're in character. So if, if there was a beat like this and it was battling, it's one of the ones you gotta go. Like you know what I'm saying? Just show that you're that confident. That's one thing. Um, never be, always try to keep your composure. What happens a lot of the time is because there's so many people watching you, you get that fear. It's that kind of like, it, it feels like this. You feel like this. Yeah, and that, once again, it's about being confident in what you do. You know, I'm so confident in what I do that I don't need, I don't, I don't need people to clap for me. I don't need people to even like kind of big me up. I just go in there. And say, you know what, I'm Jay, this is what I do, kind of thing. And I know what I do is good. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's just one of the ones where even with battling, what 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 problem is, people you can see it in people because people are so worried and there's so much pressure that they like see this beat. Let me turn up for a second. Right, so Inspires you, take it, make it your own. 